Corky, the Daring Bombardier. The Yordles that pulled up their roots and decided to call Pilt over their new home really know how to get things done. Soon as they stepped their teensy feetsies through those gates, all sort of techmaturgical progress popped up all hither, thither, and every whither. Sure, they only come up to the knees of us human folk, but they more than make up for that in productiveness. Of those Yordles, I'd bet you know the likes of Heimerdinger, and, of course, Corky. Old Corky is a bombardier of the daring variety, known for piloting the, at the time, highly experimental reconnaissance operations frontline copter, a helicopter with a penchant for distributing hurt to those seen fit to receive it. Nowadays, that copter is a primary element of the Bandle City Expeditionary Force, a.k.a. BCEF. Corky commands a most fearsome squadron, the Screaming Yip Snakes, flying out across the whole of Valoran. He's ever vigilant and on the prowl for potential trouble, but always finds time to dazzle onlookers with some daring flipping and rolling maneuvers. There has never been a time when Corky lost his cool. As the main member of the Screaming Yip Snakes, you can't expect any less. He's braver than you or I put together, proving his mustachioed supremacy throughout his multiple tours of duty always the first on the list to plunge deep into the heart of the beast, be it to relay a message or to scout the area. He's not just a simple message runner, either. He is an ace, an adrenaline seeker that really comes alive in a to-the-death dogfight. He's been known to do some custom bodywork to his rafflecopter, strapping on extra guns, maybe some chromed-up exhaust, which really seems a bit egregious, and between you and I... Looks a bit like it's just for cosmetic purposes. All this was at the height of Corky's career, of course, and once the shooting stopped and there was no more fights to fight, he tried to make do with fly-by shows and other various methods of self-endangerment. But it just isn't the same. How can he feel alive if there isn't anyone shooting at him? <laughs> 